यस वेलकम माय डियर फ्रेंड इन संजानवी क्लासेस देर आर टू कंपोनेंट्स विच आई एम गोइंग टू ऑफर एंड इट्स अ वेरी न्यू इनिशिएटिव स्पेशली इन सेलम तमिलनाडु एज आई एम अ रेसिडेंट ऑफ सेलम तमिलनाडु सो टू कंपोनेंट्स आई एम गोइंग टू ऑफर इन माय क्लासेस वन इज कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन एंड प्लेसमेंट ट्रेनिंग दैट विल बी एप्लीकेबल फॉर ऑल कॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स I will tell in the details, and second one, online classes will be there for all CBSE school students. Let us go for explanation on each and every one, so that it will be very clear that what are the courses I am going to offer. So, Sanjanvi competitive exams and placement training. that is uh, especially located in salem tamil nadu and i am concentrating more on the colleges which are located in and around tamil nadu uh, sorry in and around salem uh, but it is applicable even uh, far away campuses are also there there also i will be extending my expertise and i will be trying to help engineering college students arts and science college students commerce college law college on these basics of quantitative aptitude see quantitative aptitude is one of the major factor which everybody looks if somebody is going for any job or any type of activity which relates which requires some type of logical thinking so their quantitative aptitude questions are giving clear explanation of the skills which a person is possessing which a candidate is possessing so that candidate whether he is in a he or she is in a position to take decisions effectively and efficiently that too with accuracy that particular part is getting reflected from this quantitative aptitude simultaneously a person in different situation different stressed situation how the person will be reacting that is clearly reflected by verbal and non verbal reasoning so this verbal and non verbal reasoning it gives a person's analytical skills another one a person is going to attend interview so simply going and attending interview will not be solving the purpose until unless the students are not possessing specific communication skills so the uh, concerned candidate has to present his own uh, qualities and specialties his own knowledge that to with an effective communication of course now we are uh, promoting more and more local languages but yes english has also become one of the language which if one is knowing then certainly he will be excelling in all the areas though local language knowledge is very much necessary and everybody is conversant in his or her own mother tongue so there is no doubt in that local language is not going to get affected in any way but as the students they are studying mostly in english about their subjects they are expected that they will be explaining their about themselves and their concepts of the knowledge in english so there are some basics etiquettes and expressions are there which if a candidate is showing to the interviewer the interviewer gets impressed so this is for the kind information of all principals and uh, placement training officers of various colleges the colleges can be an engineering college i belong to engineering background and i am very well aware i know that how the students communication skill is very very poor simultaneously they are also poor on quantitative aptitude and verbal and non verbal reasoning the students may be studying engineering mathematics or mathematics in some way or the other so that is different then this quantitative aptitude this quantitative aptitude will consist of questions mostly on day to day affairs up to 10th standard the subject which is uh, 
covered, which is covered especially, those parts only will be covered in this quantitative FT2. So, but the student, whether they are in a position to solve it within the prescribed time, within uh, with accuracy, that matters. Why it matters? Because it shows clearly that whether the student is in a position to take suitable decision or not. So that decision taking capability of the student is being reflected clearly from this quantitative aptitude, verbal and non-verbal reasoning and further interviews. So everything is very crystal clear. I have already mentioned each and everything and as a freelancer, I want to extend my uh, expertise for development of the skills of the students. If the schools and engineering colleges, they are contacting me for group training on campus, it will be very good. And simultaneously, if some of the students, they want to contact me individually, then it may not be possible for me to conduct offline class for one student then I may prefer online class for that particular student. So this is the first component which I am going to offer through my training and placement services. Even it is used very much useful for school students as they also need some of the skills for calculation fast to calculate the questions fast. So they may also opt it. I will be extending my services to the schools also and some of the school and college dropouts students are there i am having a different component so that they can become more employable they can go for entrepreneurship so such type of course also i do have if they are contacting me separately i will be telling them the second component which i am going to offer it will be everyday basis so this will be completely online class Yes, of course, there will not be any offline if the students are belonging to Salem location, especially. Yes, especially I am telling if the students are belonging to Salem location, then on Sundays or any holidays, I may offer uh, offline classes also for them for doubt clearing sessions. But it will be completely online class and I will be preferring CBC school students. 9th to 12th standard, 9th to 10th I will be covering completely maths and science regular classes and 11th to 12th it will be maths and physics. Now in this online classes, yes, the students must have online platforms. We all are aware of those online platforms. Now nobody can say that I do not know about online platforms which are available. So yes. Uh, general online platforms like zoom and all we will be utilizing it as it is more user friendly i have found more user friendly so that's why i am saying i will be utilizing that zoom platform and this particular class will be completely for cbsc school students why i am telling cbsc school students even other boards also students they can get uh, but uh, i will not be taking classes for them sorry they may get benefited through my videos which I will be posting one after another on some of the topics. I, I have uh, already posted more than 500 videos in my channel. They may get benefited with that. And why I have chosen CBSC? Why? Because most of the competitive examinations, they used to cover CBSC syllabus. So that is the main motto I have concentrating. I am concentrating more on CBSE standards and CBSE syllabus. So these were the components, two components I am going to offer through my Sanjanvi competitive exams and placement training and online classes. Yes, if somebody wants me to conduct NEET physics also, I am ready. I will be, I am ready to help the student in any way. So whatever I do have with me, being a professional from engineering background and after working for considerable number of years in engineering colleges, I have found that what are the things the student they need 
during final year the students most of them they used to suffer uh, because of the lack of basic skills not that they are having good knowledge in their particular domain but nowadays this quantitative aptitude uh, reasoning communication skills in english so those things have become a mandatory part the student must qualify so it is a qualify and after that only that knowledge check will be there so this qualifying examination will be consisting of quantitative aptitude uh, english skills english knowledge and simultaneously reasoning as i have said that for uh, the students who are dropouts and all and even for engineering students those who want to have their own skill i can i am offering two wheeler and four wheeler servicing so that part also even they can get benefited through my videos which are already posted in my channel swadarshan so thank you very much if you have uh, liked my video please subscribe and share with maximum people i will be expecting that uh, an placement officers of various colleges they are contacting me as early as possible so that we can book the time and date so that uh, uh, further placement training can be given to the students thank you thank you very much